the top 16 and upsetting the top players. It's a really interesting discipline at the moment, the ladies' singles. Yes, yeah, so I concur with that because whilst in the past we've there's all, almost been an assumption that China, one of the top Chinese players, and of course let's not forget they've got the top three in the world rankings at the moment, China in the women's singles, and there's always been an assumption that one of the Chinese players will win. Well, yes, they may do, but now there's real pressure from a number of nations. Thailand have got some very talented youngsters. So has India. Um, Singapore. Taiwan. Taiwan, very, very good young players at the moment. And um, indeed, Europe. And, well, you have to say that. And the other, you'd have to say also Korea. Korea have got two girls that have made great strides in terms of world ranking this year. Mm. And we had a super performance in the first round from the young Spanish girl, Carolina Marin, the uh, European junior champion. So it's, uh, it's a fascinating time at the moment. There is Bay Youngju. Well, her opponent has an incredible record in this tournament. As I say, not only champion in 2010, beaten finalist last year, and this is only her third appearance. So <laughs> every time she's come to the China, to the uh, Korean Open, a Chinese player has reached the final. Crikey, you wouldn't mind that as a record, would you? No, but she's not only playing her opponent today, she's going to be playing the crowd. There's a great atmosphere today, and they're going to get right behind Bay in this match, that's for sure. She's a real local favourite. So both these players through to the semi-final stage, but obviously in a very different fashion. The number 14 player in the world, Bei Yongju. A win-loss record last year, translating into reaching two finals, which of course were the Super Series finals of 2010, played in January 2011, and also reached the final of the India Super Series event. But look at that first round victory over the number three seed of the former world number one, incidentally, Wang Sin. And then against the qualifier, once again, dropped the opening game. Qualifier from Taipei. And then in the quarterfinal yesterday against uh, Li Shere, if you were with us yesterday, you will have enjoyed watching that one. Total time on court for Bei Yongju of 2 hours 38. You compare that to this lady, the number two seed, who's dropped down to number three in the world ranking since the seeding was done for this tournament. Look at that win-loss record for last year, 45 and 11. And that translates into five titles, having reached six finals. So a very good record in finals. But just look at that. First three rounds, all won in two straight games, and a total of one hour 59 on court. So quite a difference on the length of time spent getting to this semi-final stage. And I don't know, Ian, will that play a part in today's semi-final? Uh, on this occasion, I think not. Bay's used to playing long matches. She's got a style of play where She's a rallying type player. She doesn't beat people easily. Also added to that the uh, home advantage that she's got and the crowd behind her. I don't think that will be a factor today. But perhaps that will be. <laughs> that, that was going to be my next point. But isn't it strange? Bay has got a really good record against Wang Yi Han, the number one player in the world. She's had several victories over and real critical victories over as well. Yet against Wang Xiaxian. Not one victory, yeah. just a clash of styles. And it'd be really interesting to see how the tactics unfold in this game. And not only no victories over the Chinese player, she's never won a game. All of their five previous matches won in two straight games. So it's a tall ask, isn't it? But as you say, with home advantage, she's been playing well all week. Who knows? Well, if she's going to do it, it's going to be at home, I think. If she's going to make the breakthrough against Wang Xiaxian, it's in this hall with this crowd behind her. Yeah. Well, 
Marcel Schmidt of Switzerland, our umpire, calls for play to begin. And there immediately we see the problem. Bay is a, basically a, a counter-attack type player. She likes to play off defense. She likes to move the shuttle around, but she likes players to attack against her. And Wang Shershian doesn't use so much smash. She uses a lot of slice drops, a lot of clears, and makes the court very big for her opponents. It's going to be interesting to see how the Korean player tries to counter that. No. Oh. Well, there's your answer. Yeah, that's a super angle. Gets up early. Slices across the shuttle. Brings it down nice and short. Well, I have to say, yesterday when we were watching Bei Young Ju in her quarterfinal against Li Sher Ray and we were talking about the fact that she likes to counteract and I thought towards the end of the match she was being uh, far more adventurous in, in to get a long way up in that second game and then she went negative again and started reacting to what her opponent was throwing at her her opponent got back level and then once again had the courage to go for her shots and closed out the match obviously in two straight games as we've seen but it went through my mind when she is positive, when she does take initiative, what a wonderful player she is. And I, and I don't understand why she doesn't do it more often. I think a little bit of that is a, a physical makeup. I think she's more of a, an aerobic type player rather than a sort of uh, explosive player. And she built, she's built a game and a tactical game around her physical qualities. And uh, therefore she's got this, developed this counter-attacking type style. But as you say, she's got a very accurate attack. Although there's not a lot of power, there's real accuracy when she does attack. And I, I agree with you. I think she could use it a little bit more just to bring more variety into her game. And I think she'll be forced to in this game if she wants to make an impression on it. the precision of Ayn Shushan when she's on a game. She really hits the lines on a regular basis. Super net, great spin on the shuttle. They forced into the short lift and finds the line with the attack. Yeah, we see a lot of that in this match. She's a very aggressive player. Rally well constructed. Nice slice, return of serve. Steps up the court, pushes into the back corner. See how late Wang Shershian has to take that. Never really gets into position in defense. Oh, that's lovely. Goodness me, she read that rally well. Not exactly right. She anticipated the reply, stepped in, lovely touch across the net. Here, look how far she brings the base up. She's on her way forward as soon as she hits it. Great play. see Wang Shershan miss that shot very often, do we? That really is a favorite. Turn around the head there. She loves this cross drop. It just overcooks that one. 
at the side. I do think sometimes she is a, a player, so Wang Shoshian, that can struggle with nerves. I th thought that when she became world number one, found that burden of expectation a little overbearing at times. Of course, she led out the Sudermann Cup campaign, the very first match against Germany. She lost to Juliana Schenk. She also had losses over the last 12 months to Lu Lan, Sung Ji Hyun, Chen Xiao Xie. They're all good players, but you know, when you're expected to win the whole time, it's, it's a burden yeah. of expectation. When the losses come, they tend to come early in tournaments. Yes. So yeah. When she gets through to semi-finals and finals, she's got a very good record. Um, but she does tend to be a little bit vulnerable early in tournaments, as you say, a little bit of a nervy starter. And she doesn't like this call, but I think that's a good call. I think that's just out. I thought that was just out. Yeah, can't see a problem there. Uh, here we go. She's an aggressive little character, isn't she? And she likes this. Again, great precision with the attack down the line. Look at the reaction. Yeah, and uh, that's a classic Wang Shershian rally, isn't it? Super short slice to one side of the court, then the quick change of direction to the other side. Look how late she forces her opponent because it's so short, and then uses the full width of the court. And that's where she's so strong. just turning around asking the coaches whether the first one was out or not. It was a big hesitation. Slice Wang Shishan using the high serve, giving her opponent time. The net cord helped, but it was a good slice anyway. Good precision, good angle. <laughs> well, this time it's Bay that doesn't like the call. Good call right on the line. No, oh, lucky net cord. chance here. Wang Shishan trying to play the defensive lift. Shuttle just getting caught on the top of the net and just flicking over. No chance. So a three-point advantage at the mid-game interval. Yeah, 
And again, it's the short slice that does the damage. It's a really acute angle. And Link, the Olympic champion now. Korean coach. Well, it, you're right, it does look like Chen Gang. But uh, I didn't realize he'd moved to Korea. If he has, he's been coaching in Poland the last couple of years. Former Chinese national player. We'll have to try and try and check that one out. Yeah. It certainly looks like him. Yeah. And that's what I thought yesterday. Forced to take the late backhand deep in court. Yes, and tactically she's got a problem because she's being hurt by the short slices, so she's trying to bring her base up to cover the short slices. And Wang Shi Shan's able to use attacking clears to mix it up and uh, posing a lot of problems at the moment. Started last year very well as well. Did uh, Bei Yong Ju, first Super Series tournament of the year in Malaysia 2011, reached the final. Ah! Uh, it's just wide. Another little look from Wang Shixian. Well, again, I thought that was clearly out. Yeah. yeah. I don't really see the problem with that. Let's have a look, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah, that's well out, well out. I think, to be honest, it's become a feature of badminton. I think it's all psychological games to, from the players to maybe try and say to the umpire, I want you to overrule or pressure on line judges. Or it's the side of badminton, which I don't particularly like. Don't you think it's just a side of high-level sport at the moment? There's a trend in sport at the moment to put as much pressure as possible on officials. Absolutely. And uh, badminton is just following a general sporting trend, I would say, and it's sad, but I think it's yeah, it's a fact of life at the moment. on wasn't it Bay was already anticipating the lift you we'll see here she's moving away from the net look at that she's on the back foot the umpire has overruled on this occasion yeah and I think that's a good call actually we're well placed on that one let's have a look see see whether we get a good view of it yeah I think that's a good overrule
Oof, well, that's, that's a bit rich coming from Wang Shoshian. Going to the umpire and telling the umpire that he's got to tell her opponents. There's no question that was wide. But look, she's complaining and saying, tell her to be quiet and not try and influence the line judges. <laughs> As I say, that's, that's a bit rich coming from her. Good rally, created a little bit more pressure there on a Chinese opponent. Managed to manoeuvre around the court, make her late. And that's what she's got to do. She's got to try and take a little bit more of the initiative. And I do feel Bay's really got to try and get into this first set. She can't afford to just let this one drift away. It's nice, isn't it? it Super shots, but that's a strength, isn't it? They come down shorter than our opponents expect. And Bay's having a lot of problem reading the cuts and the slices at the moment. Classic, isn't it? Yep. That's why I'm sure she her best. Building pressure, creating the opportunity, and the slice finish. as if she changed her mind and she really hasn't been able to give the crowd enough to get the crowd involved and, and on her side to make an influence in this match. The crowd could only feed off what she's doing. more like it and listen to the difference in the crowd's reaction yes yeah, she's just not been able to build up a sustained period of pressure has she has been the odd point like that one but she hasn't been able to string three or four together to get any, create real pressure on her opponent no Well, that goes down as a bad miss. Well, that was really careless, wasn't it? Completely controlled the rally. Bay late, both in the forecourt and the rear court. And then just takes her eye off the shuttle there. That's a poor mistake. Just drifted wide. Oh, one 
Masha Xian exploring every inch of her opponent's court, making her move from corner to corner. And in the end, forced the error. And it's now five game points to Wang Shoshian. First time of asking, and a little squeal of delight from Wang Shoshian. As is normal, I, after most rallies she wins. But more importantly, for the number two seed, it is the opening game. 21-15 in 20 minutes of play. Well, a fair bit of work for the Korean coach to do here. Still never won a game against her opponent, Bae Young Ju, and perhaps, well, I don't know. Does, does he tell her to change tactics or? Well, I mean, we had a good example of why she's never won a game there tactically. She's got real problems against Wang Shershian. Wang Shershian's slices are so accurate that it's making her late in the forecourt. That means she's trying to bring a base up to cover those because she's not reading them and that creates space for the attacking clears in the rear court so she's being caught in the forecourt and the rear court the answer has to be to try and take more initiative and take one or two risks and try and increase the tempo of the game try and reduce the trajectory of her own clears and try and speed the game up and get, try and create some intensity try and build some pressure in the rallies because at the moment it's Wang Shershan who's really dictating the play yeah Very vocal on court, Wang Shoshian. Try something a little different. That's <laughs> very good from Wang Shoshian. Yeah, she got control of the rally early on with a good short slice again. And one with the variety at the end with the fast clear created the easy opportunity to finish It's delightful. Yeah, there's just nothing for Bay to feed off, is there? And Shershian not really using any smash. She's using short slices, fast clears, and not giving any counter-attacking opportunities. She's got to do a lot more of that. Good straight attack, good penetrating smash down the line, and that gives a chance to get early on the net. That's what she's got to do, take the initiative.
Yeah, that rally will certainly do our confidence the world of good. Yeah, slightly flatter clears. You see it here that gives Wang Shishan less time to get organized and forces the arrow with the slice. Of course, Bei Yunju has been as high as number five in the world rankings, reached that status in June last year, a couple of weeks at number five. But I guess Wang Shishian's big breakthrough moment was winning the gold medal at the Asian Games at the end of 2010. Oh, that's incredible. Spinning neck cord off a spinning neck cord. Yeah, I'm sure Bay thought she was in control of this rally after this shot. It's a super net. But great touch from low down there from Wang Shishan. Yeah, that's remarkable. Doing to her opponent what her opponent was doing to her well it's a better rally she used one or two smashes there to force her opponent into a deeper defensive position and that creates the space for the slice Point accuracy. Yeah, and that's what we were talking about in the in the interval. Just playing flatter clears, more aggressive clears. Try and reduce Wang Shishan's time on the shuttle in the rear court. Oh, that's wild. It's gone way wide. And this is what she couldn't couldn't do in the first game. She couldn't string two, three good rallies together. And here, she's played two very good rallies, and then she gets the free point from that. She's building a little bit of pressure. And again, it's the fast clear. Good fighting, good battling from Bay. There she was forced into a higher clear. And Shoshan plays the short slice. But Bay, great defense, great agility there. And it's Wang Shoshan making the error, but there's some pressure on her now for the first time. Yeah, five straight points. I think that emphasizes what you were saying. Getting a little run puts added pressure on. No, oh, that's lovely though. It's just a little bit too flat, allows Wang Shishan to intercept the shuttle early. Retrieving. Oh. 
This is a big point. Oh, in the end, won by Wang Shoshian. Yes, but it's better from Bay. Wang Shoshian having to work harder for a point. Okay, she wins it in the end, but she was forced to hit a lot of shuttles, hit a lot of shots to win that rally. And Bay just keeping the pressure on. It's a good quality rally again. Again, long, intense rally. I'm sure Shannon comes up with a great touch at the net. Just holds it. Nice deception as well, but he couldn't go too early. balance but brings the shuttle down well forces her opponent to take it from low down and that's much harder to find the touch to play to the net from there So well constructed that rally. That was a great, great point. Got control of the rally early on, and then just keeps her opponent late, doesn't she? She doesn't. Once she makes her opponent late, once she makes her late, she keeps the pressure on so well. Plays with great precision. My goodness, how on earth did she play that? I thought that she needn't have played it. I thought the shuffle may have been going wide. Well, some fantastic defense from Bay, but as I say, same as the last point. Five, six shots in a row, Bay's completely off balance, just with the precision and the touch of uh, Wang Shexian. Won five of the last six points. Has won Shoshian. never show much expression do they the Chinese coaches oh, that 
was close. Wow, the look of absolute astonishment on the face of Bei Yung Ju. Looking up towards the giant screen to see if there's going to be a replay. That's good defence. Well, that's a mile in. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very odd call. She was disappointed playing in her own country to get a call like that, you have to say. Well, that's extraordinary. Well, it's good mental toughness to come back. That's a good slice. Forces the error. Again, Wang Shen having to take the shuttle from very low. And that forces the error. Oh, dear me. Completely off balance. time she's been forced to turn and play that backhand very late indeed and it means that Wang Chershian has the advantage at the mid-game interval. Uh, she's not reading that at all is she in? No there's just when Wang Chershian's got time on the shuttle she's got so many options that Bay's really struggling to to anticipate the next shot and she's being caught short and she's also being she's been caught by the short slices but also that flick into that deep Backhand corner, as you say. She's having to take too many late backhands at the moment. But that's, you know, what she's got to do is what she did at the start of that game, is try and take the initiative off the first one or two shots in the rally. Once she's losing the initiative, she's in real trouble here. So I think more aggression on return of serve is probably what I'd be saying to her at this stage of the game. Try and make Wang Shershian late early on in the rally. what I was saying early on in that rally there just feel if she can use one or two smashes maybe because it's not powerful it's not going to win the point but it just first it forces Wang Shishan a little bit deeper into a defensive position and creates a little space for the slices Change of mind there, sure. It's a nothing shot. Yeah, tried to change the direction at the last moment, but total miss it. Just phenomenal from Wang Shoshian. Punch clears deep into court. Then the angled attack. Yeah, we can see there Bay forced into the high defensive clear. And from then on, she's always in trouble against the skill of her Chinese opponent.
crowd of patience, I think, there, Bei Ying Ju. Yeah, just early on in that rally, she had one or two chances to maybe use the smash. Didn't, went for the drops, and there's no real pressure on Wang Shu Shan at the moment, is there? Saw it in the opening game, didn't we? A couple of net shots from Wang Shoshian. That was equally as accurate. So her opponent was ready to pounce. Yeah, look how late she takes it, but still finds his good finds good touch. Spirit of Bei and Ju is beginning to be broken. Body language after that rally, very concerning for all Korean fans. Good. No, well, the umpire agrees with the line judge, and I think I do too. But we'll have a better s look at it now. Oh, that was closer than I thought, but I thought it did touch the outside edge of the line. Just misses this one. She's shown great touch, but didn't miss it by much. She gets a lot of spin on that shuttle, doesn't she? Incredible amount. Really good handwork there. Shoshan's created a lot of pressure in that corner, hasn't she, in this second game? She's really directed a lot of a play into that corner, trying to soften her opponents up and open up the front court for the slices. have seen more of that not necessarily going to win win the point with it but it's just an extra threat it just fixes their opponent in the midcourt position and creates some space so much for my theory that the spirit was being broken. Bei Yung Ju. 
Yeah, I just Still have fighting. the feeling. Yeah, I just have the feeling Wang Shershan's just relaxed just a touch. She's missed two of her favourite shots there. Twice she's got in early and missed net shots, which is very unusual for her. Well, and that indication from her coaches is if to say, come on, just tighten up your game. It's not one yet. going for the smash which is what you wanted to see earlier on but hitting wide and therefore it is five match points to one Shoshian Oh, that's incredible. Lovely drop shots and, in all honesty, a superb performance from Wang Shoshian. What a record she has at this Korean Open. Her third appearance here and her third consecutive final with that semi-final victory over Bei Yongju. Umpire just confirming the score, 21-15, 21-16. Bei Yong Ju's run in this year's Korean Open comes to an end. So, their confirmation of the score 48 minutes needed to get through to her third consecutive final at the Korean Open. So they take leave of the court. And that confirms that whilst Korea have finalists in the mixed doubles, they won't have finalists in the women's singles because the top half of the draw is an all Chinese affair. But of course, next on our center court here on semi-finals day is men's doubles and Korea have chances in this as you can see it's a repeat of the world championship final and following that men's doubles will have the second of the mixed doubles semi-finals and then our last match this afternoon on semi-finals day is men's singles featuring the defending champion Lin Dan of China so to world champions Kai Yun and Fu Haifeng, number one seeds, up against Ko Sung Hyung and Yu Yong Sung of Korea. And there you can see how they've progressed through to this stage of the draw. And the thing that really stands out there, Ian, is that uh, top or the eight players pairs there eight different nations yeah the men's doubles has been really interesting this week i mean the conditions have just added to the interest really it's been quite difficult for the for the men's doubles players to finish the rallies there's been lots of long rallies and uh this is going to be a really interesting match i have to say fu and kai struggled a lot against the thailand pair didn't they early on in this tournament really have problems with their attacking play in this hall defense has tended to dominate this week 
And that doesn't really suit the Chinese pair. No, that's right. It uh, has been interesting, as you say.